What's going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? It's Friday. It's the weekend. Let's get into the tech news of the day. The latest rumor coming out of Samsung's camp is that they will be releasing a 5-inch full displayed phone now. I don't know if this is going to end up being like one of their Samsung A models, like A3, A579, whatever they call it, or a Galaxy phone, like a Galaxy Mini, like they used to have, but it sounds pretty cool. It's all we know. I don't have any specs. It's kind of a light rumor at this moment. It's coming from Weibo, which is a Chinese social media network, and one of the leakers on there has said that Samsung's working on a 5-inch full display that means no buttons just a full display on the front very 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 minimal bezels if any uh five inch displayed phone now i think some people would be happy with that because some people come from that iphone uh 4.7 inch phone and they kind of want something a little bit bigger or something you know when they when they come to android but nothing too too big that would be the perfect example of a phone and who knows maybe they'll have some big time specs like a snapdragon 835 and four, gig, four to six gigabytes of RAM, we'll have to wait and see, but this is the latest rumor on a new Samsung phone. And our last news of the day is the OnePlus 5T. It has been fully, fully leaked with real photos in real specs, pamphlets. Basically, someone got their hands on a reviewer's guide edition of this phone. You gotta check all of this stuff out. Now, all of these photos are on the slash leaks Dot com website. I will link the site in the description down below. Let's start this off. This is the box that you're going to get. You can see the phone looks exactly like the setup you get with any OnePlus phone if you've seen it. You can see it's like the European version because we don't, in America, in North America, we don't have that extra plug at the bottom, but that is the charger with the cable. Uh, this is the back of the phone. Um, I don't know if it's two one pluses. Yeah, I guess it's two one pluses. I don't know if it's the. I guess it's different phones, or one's a one five. One's one's probably the one plus five. One's probably the one plus five T. The next photo you're seeing is the phone uh, with a screen, you know, a wallpaper on there, and you can see it's almost all display, minimal bezels at the top and the bottom, and then this is the uh, phone itself next to the one plus five T. You can see it's quite a bit more uh, screen because you look at look at where that fingerprint sensor is on the one plus five versus uh on the left hand side the one plus five t it's a lot more screen for your money the next picture i was trying to figure it out. i i'm pretty sure yeah the, the phone on the, on the right i believe is the galaxy s8 i believe the phone in the middle i was trying to figure that out you guys can let me know in the comments down below it's probably the one maybe it's uh i'm not sure what phone it is maybe it's the gal i can't tell and then the phone on the left is the OnePlus 5T, the one with minimal bezels, all screen, pretty much. Uh, just to give you an idea how it compares against uh, different phones. Also, they have all of the, the, like I said, it's a reviewer's guide, so you're gonna get all the stuff that OnePlus 5T gives you, especially, you know, the specs. So specs, uh, you're gonna get a, a similar phone to what you have with the OnePlus 5. You're gonna get a Snapdragon 835, six or eight gigabytes of RAM, 64 or 128 gigabytes of storage. You still get your fingerprint sensor and all that. Uh, Type-C, uh, fast charging, a 3300 milliamp battery, uh, NFC, Bluetooth 5.0, you know, basically six inch phone, 1080p display, which is gonna be 1080 by 2160 with 40, uh, 401 pixels per inch. Next, you get the specs on the rear camera and the front, front camera and the multimedia that it can play. You can see it can record uh, up to 1080p video, 30 frames per second on the front camera. And then on the back, you can do 4K, 30 frames per second. You also get a breakdown on the features of the camera. Uh, you can see that it does now uh, have uh, um, a pro mode like it did before. That gives you a breakdown on the video. It doesn't look like it has optical image stabilization. It still has electronic image stabilization. One thing I was curious about on the front camera, because I know on the back camera, uh, you do get portrait mode, uh, which I don't think you get on the front camera. But So portrait mode will be included. And then it, all, it tells you about the display too, how it's an AMOLED display with an 18 by nine aspect ratio. It also tells you it has sunlight display, meaning when it's in direct sunlight that 
the phone will automatically try to give you uh, a picture on the phone that you can easily see that you don't have to mess with anything. And uh, the phone will come out in North America in Europe for sale on November 21st. That is a major get for OnePlus 5. T and OnePlus 5 fans that were thinking about getting this phone, seeing those photos, getting the actual specs, getting the release date, uh, price, I believe we would talk about that in rumors that it would probably drop at about $499. I didn't see any pricing information on these official uh, pay on this official paperwork, but we'll definitely keep our eyes open for that. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every single day. My question of the day is what's the smallest display of a phone that you'd be even considered considering buying? At this point for me, I think the smallest I would probably do would be about the 5.7, 5.8 inch, especially with the way that displays are now where they're kind of skinny and they feel really small now, even though they're 5.7 inches. So the, the Galaxy S8, the regular version, that feels extremely comfortable in your hand, but you know, I always feel like bigger is better. So I always, always choose the extra large version of the phone to get it. Same thing with the Pixel, I get the extra large. The Galaxy S8, I get the plus version, so I'll always go after that. But if I had to get something small, I'd probably go after that 5.8 inch Galaxy S8. Let me know what you would choose in the comments down below. Guys, that is your news for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every single day, and I'll see you down the road. Peace.